Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but we'll do everything DIY. We are back working on the Omega hybrid heat pump systems. We're currently searching a leak for this one but we have another call back here. With the system not running, we're going to troubleshoot this one. We have a little note here that says the compressor trips. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Always look out for clues. We got one here that says compressor trips. Well, I'm gonna be looking into the compressor for this one. This system uses R410A refrigerant. You see these water holes, these water connections here. Supply and return, inlet, outlet. So this is a water source air conditioner, and, but it's actually a hybrid system. So we have another water circuit here because behind this evaporator coil is a hot water coil for the heating season so you have a water source air conditioner during the summertime and in the winter time it basically becomes a fan coil unit now let's go ahead and open this up we're going to focus on the compressor before i start bringing this thing into the cabinet i'll show you what they look like before we start putting them inside the cabinets that they work with Let's check a couple of things because it might not even be worth our time to start lugging this thing up and bringing this into places. Unfortunately, this cabinet is too big. It will, it's not gonna be a proper test to test that machine in as airflow will affect your pressures and just throw the whole system off. Let's go ahead and start taking off some covers. I'm gonna work right here. I'm gonna start by opening up this top cover and we're gonna try to get to the compressor. And I will show you guys on how to test the compressor. This is a single phase compressor. It uses 208 volts. And in theory, it's pretty similar to testing a three phase compressor, but things are gonna be a little bit different. And I do have videos that I will leave in this video's description on how to test each one of those compressors. Okay. Here's our compressor right here. Here's our compressor right here. Let's see if I can leave this somewhere safe. We're gonna open up this top cover here and get to our compressor terminals. We have three terminals there, common, start, and run. For the sake of the video, I already have the nut loose here, which is this guy, and it's 5 16 So we're just gonna loosen up the nut, remove it, and pull off that plastic cover that protects our terminals. Let's get that off so we can get to it right there. And then I'm gonna pull this off. The camera's gonna fall. <laughs> okay. As you can see, we have three wires, a white, red, and black. That's gonna be your common start and run terminals. We're gonna pull the wires off of the compressor to isolate it, so we're testing only the compressor. Take a picture of your wiring so you know exactly how to put it back, right? So now we know that, we can go ahead, take a needle nose, and start pulling these wires off so we can isolate this compressor. Pretty tight in here, put it either way. Let's get in there. There we go. Now we're isolated. We have three terminals here. One, two, and three. Here's my multimeter. And we're gonna set our meter to ohms. And my meter does both. It reads resistance via ohms. And it also, we have continuity with an audible sound. I'm holding my leads together. As you can hear, we have an audible sound and actually a resistance read. I'm gonna open this, okay? So basically you wanna hear an audible sound. When you have an audible sound between any two terminals, that means you have continuity and there should be a reading of resistance there. So we're gonna go between each, each any two terminals. You should have resistance between them. And we're also gonna be doing a ground test and I will show you that. I'm testing the two left terminals, as you can see, and we have continuity, and we have 
ohms of resistance. I'm going to keep my red lead where it was and go over to the next terminal. OL. OL, guys, we, we have a problem. We have an open winding. Then we're going to check between the next two. Even though I already know this thing is bad. And we're going to check between the next two. OL. This compressor is done. We have open windings in our compressor. You're supposed to have continuity between any two terminals. Next, we can conduct another test just for the purpose of this video. We're gonna go from one terminal to the casing of the motor. There's paint on the motor, so that can throw you off. You can actually also, instead of grounding it to the casing of the compressor, you can, you can use the one of the pipes as you ground either your suction or discharge line. In this case, this is your discharge line. So we're gonna go from one terminal to, to our discharge line, one by one. Looks like we're picking up a little something on our leak detector, man. We got the best one on the market. We got the DTEC Stratus by Inf Inficon. This thing is serious. Let these guys figure this thing out while we do our final test for the compressor. Oh yeah, we're definitely picking something up underneath over there. Yeah man, you're gonna wanna tilt that thing back, then you're gonna spray the micro leak detector in there. Yep. So right now I got Christian helping me so we can see what's going on. He has one terminal right here going to our discharge line so it's gonna be grounded. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go and check each terminal across. Let's go ahead, let's start with one. Gotcha. That right there, uh, we have no continuity. You know what, let me grab this meter real quick so I can show everybody. So let's do that again. Got it. Let me touch one. No continuity, which is good. You do not want any continuity. Then we go to the next one. Oh, this one does. from that terminal, touch it again, from that terminal. Uh -huh. To so basically the casing of the motor, we have continuity indicating that this machine is actually grounded. If you energize this compressor, it's gonna trip your breaker. Let's try the next one. Okay. Grounded. This compressor is done. Uh, A sad day in the HVAC community, for real. You were good to us. It wasn't a long time, but it was a good time. <laughs> This unit's only uh, been in operation for nine months. We only opened up nine months, and we have some catastrophic failures here. We got leaks left and right and a bunch of failed compressors. This is truly concerning, and we need to get to the bottom of this. So, and just look how clean this unit is. Everything is super clean, has not been touched, and another failed compressor. So just to review, you're gonna want continuity between any two terminals on the compressor and you don't want continuity from any one terminal in the compressor to the casing of your motor or to one of your lines such as a discharge or a suction. Since this is a single phase compressor, it's a little bit different than a three phase as far as what resistance readings you wanna get. And I'm gonna to put together a little diagram so you guys can see. So yeah, uh, sad story, sad story. For the sake of the customer, let's pray this thing is still on the warranty, which it should. These units were installed longer than nine months ago, but they've only been in operation nine months ago. But typically you have a pretty long uh, warranty on your compressor. Unbelievable. And it, you know, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.